What we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. If I have seen further it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Nature is pleased with simplicity. Men build so many walls and not enough bridges. Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies but not the madness of people. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention than to any other talent. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only like a boy playing on the seashore and diverting myself in now and then finding a smoother pebble or a prettier shell than ordinary, whilst the great ocean of truth lay all undiscovered before me. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. Tact is the knack of making a point without making an enemy. What goes up must come down. You have to make the rules, not follow them. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. My powers are ordinary. Only my application brings me success. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is truth. If I am anything, which I highly doubt, I have made myself so by hard work. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one. Age. To arrive at the simplest truth requires years of contemplation. An object that is at rest will tend to stay at rest. An object that is in motion will tend to stay in motion. Truth is ever to be found in the simplicity and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. All knowledge and understanding of the universe was no more than playing with stones and shells on the seashore of the vast imponderable ocean of truth. A body in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. The best way to understanding is a few good examples. God created everything by number, weight and measure. No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. To myself I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. When two forces unite, their efficiency double. He who thinks half heartedly will not believe in God, but he who really thinks has to believe in God. All my discoveries have been made in answer to prayer. The way to chastity is not to struggle directly with incontinent thoughts but to avert the thoughts by some employment or by reading or meditating on other things. I consider my greatest accomplishment to be lifelong celibacy. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. A thysum is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the earth at the right distance from the sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. Errors are not in the art but in the artifices. 
if I had stayed for other people to make my tools and things for me, I had never made anything. I have a fundamental belief in the Bible as the Word of God, written by those who were inspired. I study the Bible daily. Poetry is a kind of ingenious nonsense. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true, for if the things be false, the apprehension of them is not understanding. Nature does nothing in vain when less will serve, for nature is pleased with simplicity and affects not the pomp of superforce causes. I do not know what I may appear to the world, but to myself I seem to have been only a boy playing on the seashore. We count the scriptures of God to be the most sublime philosophy. Whence arises all that order and beauty we see in the world. I keep the subject of my inquiry constantly before me, and wait till the first dawning opens gradually, by little and little, into a full and clear light. As a blind man has no idea of colours, so we have no idea of the manner by which the all, wise God perceives and understands all things. There are more sure marks of authenticity in the Bible than in any profane history. Philosophy is such an impertinently litigious lady that a man had as good be engaged in lawsuits as have to do with her. The wonderful arrangement and harmony of the cosmos would only originate in the plan of an almighty omniscient being. This is and remains my greatest comprehension. The latest authors, like the most ancient, strove to subordinate the phenomena of nature to the laws of mathematics. Centripetal force is the force by which bodies are drawn from all sides, are impelled, or in any way tend, towards some point as to a centre. For the rays, to speak properly, have no colour. In them there is nothing else than a certain power, and disposition to stir up a sensation of this colour or that. If I have done the public any service, it is due to my patient thought, Yet one thing secures us whatever betide. The scriptures assures us that the Lord will provide. No sciences are better attested than the religion of the Bible. The Ignis Fatuis is a vapour shining without heat. We are not to consider the world as the body of God. He is in uniform being, void of organs, members, or parts, and they are his creatures, subordinate to him, and subservient to his will. I understood. I have understood. I do understand. The changing of bodies into light, and light into bodies, is very conformable to the course of nature, which seems delighted with transmutations. Where both are friends, it is right to prefer truth. The instinct of brutes and insects can be the effect of nothing else than the wisdom and skill of a powerful ever living agent. Every body persists in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line, unless it is compelled to change that state by forces having impact upon it. It is the weight, not numbers of experiments that is to be regarded.